Hello Internet, Ben here with a quick update. It is quite late here, 2 a.m. I haven't stayed up till 2 a.m. in a while. Uh, but I really wanted to finish this thing, which you see before you. So this is the title screen slash character select. I have a little animation for this, like several steps of scroll animation drawn. I realized I could have generated much of that procedurally, and maybe I someday will. But um, I just wanted to get in basic character select. Uh, you know, I say basic, but I have obviously prettied it up. Um, because previously what was happening, sorry about that loud tack, that was me knocking the controller against something. Um, but I wanted to, you know, rather than it just loading up every single controller, you know, regardless, I wanted it to uh, let you select who you're going to play as. So here you go. You can uh, you select the wizards. It is good to see that the... Uh, gray pants mesh in with the <laughs> precisely with the ground right that is a signal to me that they cannot be that color um, and that's something I'm gonna have trouble with in general is I you know I'm gonna want to have ground other than stone ground and I need to make sure that whatever the color is picked uh, your wizard no part of them will blend in um, I think yeah mysterious space I have everything with a black outline and in this game I decided not to go that route uh, black outline is really helpful for just the sort of reason is that it ensures that you don't have those kind of uh, overlapping things. Um, and I think just with the size of these sprites, I, I don't think I, I want to do that. So, um, you know, one way to accomplish things like this is to use a limited palette. Uh, I'm calling this 256 wizards as if it's some sort of 256 color game. Uh, clearly it's not, or I don't know, maybe that's not clear. Actually it's not, right? There's as many colors as I want. Um, but maybe I should restrict myself to a palette and choose, you know, these are going to be the ground colors, these are going to be the, you know, wizard colors, these are going to be whatever, projectiles, etc., and, and make sure, you know, have a well-defined palette, and, and that'll help avoid those sorts of problems. So, I don't know, or maybe I'll just wing it. I probably, honestly, for a while I'm going to wing it. Um, but, no, see, it's the sort of thing I should really figure out early on. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's too late to think clearly. Sorry, let me make this guy stop shooting. I just wanted to kind of show off the, the little character selection thing. Um, I want to show off some progress, you know. Uh, it took a little while to, to get that in. So, I don't know. It's been more than I've working on today. I'm noticing that the uh, health bars, so I didn't consider this, um, I have only made four health bars, but uh, you could see I had additional additional wizards. Let me um, get this over here. Let me open... Yeah, I just didn't know what all was in the, was in there. Yeah. So anyway, right here are all the wizards. I only did health bars with different colors for these first four. And, and you can see I, I kind of tweaked them a little. Like the purple guy used to have a belt and didn't have the buttons, so I added buttons. Also, I did little stripes on some of the hats, and this guy's got a necklace. So I, I tried to make them more distinct. Um, so so, But anyway, I, I need to do health bars I hadn't even noticed until <laughs> just now. I don't... I've forgotten all about it. So, anyway, once again, super tired. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to post this online. It can upload while I sleep. I'm not going to wait. Uh, I don't think it's going to take that long, but I just don't want to wait anymore. So, uh, yeah, I will, as always, post more as I have more. Thank you very much for watching, and good night, slash good morning.